In this tutorial, you are going to learn how to make fried mixed vegetables, or you can call it vegetable tempura, or a variety of vegetable strips, and we will also make a dipping sauce. For dipping sauce, we're going to use Japanese ingredients. You don't need any specific vegetable. You can use whatever vegetable is available in your fridge. Let's wash our hands. Here are the vegetables that I already have here. I have green pepper, onion, Carrot, sayote, and an eggplant. You can use any vegetable. You can use beans or okra. We are also going to use Korean pancake mix. You can buy this in any Asian store. Don't forget garlic powder. I love garlic, so whatever I'm cooking, I always use garlic powder. Anyways, garlic is highly nutritious but has few calories. The vegetable need to be thinly sliced or julienne into similar sizes so that they will be cooked through within a similar time frame. So here are mixed vegetables, add garlic powder and a little bit of pepper. Okay, let's mix it well. Let's prepare the butter. We need one and a half or two cups of water. We need one cup of Korean pancake mix. And one and a half, let's try one and a half water first. Okay, we're gonna mix it. I think one and a half cup of water is good enough. So I guess our cooking oil is ready. Drop a tiny amount of butter onto the surface. And if it hardly touches the bottom and it returns to the surface, it's at the right temperature. If not, wait for a little longer. Put some vegetable in here. When you're making your butter, make sure to use cold water. Okay, now we're ready to fry our vegetable. We're gonna fry our vegetable for like one and a half minutes for each side. Let's 
let's do our dipping sauce. For dipping sauce, we need half cup of water, half cup of soy sauce. We're gonna use also half teaspoon dashi. Dashi is a broth that used in Japanese dish. One tablespoon of mirin. Mirin is a type of rice wine similar to sake, but with a lower alcohol content and higher sugar content. It's pretty much done. Bring it to boil. When it's done, you're gonna add two tablespoons of grated radish and um, two tablespoons of grated ginger. Five minutes later. Okay, let's try it. So yummy. In this tutorial, you learn how to make fried vegetable and a Japanese dipping sauce. Thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye!